message on what you need now to remember and we feature into the year 2014 let us welcome our viewers right now with a real real house of worship and healing Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 12 Be careful That you do not forget the Lord Who brought you out of Egypt Out of the land of slavery So the first thing you got not to forget The first thing you got to remember It is interesting. That scripture starts with the word when. When the Lord your God give you rest from all the enemies around you in the land he is killing you to possess as an inheritance, you shall brought out the memory of Amalek from under heaven. Basi itakuwa hapo atakapopisha kukumpumzisha Bwana Mungu wako katika adui zako wote walio kando kando katika nchi ya kupana Bwana Mungu wako iwe uridi umiliki ndipo ufute ukumbuko wa amareki nchi ya Bengali do not forget Arabu inamalizia kwa kusema usisahau do not forget usisahau don't forget usisahau what don't you forget ni nini ambacho utasahau when the Lord when the Lord, your God, gives you rest from all your enemies. Wakati ama pasi itakapo kuwa wana mekupa o apumziko kati ya maadu izako. Now, the word when, jina pasi, it is not the word if. Sio jina ikiwa. It does not say, if the Lord, your God, gives you rest from all your enemies, then you shall remember him. Now, it says, it says, it says, when. It says, when. That means God must do that. Mungu lazima afanye hai. When the Lord, God, you are God, gives, you know, gives you victory over your enemies. But it is a good thing. I shall cook up on Zico Katia When he does that, I can cook up a fire. That means he will do it. In a manisha, I can find out. And it doesn't matter who you are. Haijarishi wewe ni nani? And it doesn't matter the battles you are fighting. Haijarishi vita unavyopiga. And it doesn't matter how weak you appear to be. Haijarishi wewe unaonekana dhaifu jinsi gani. It doesn't matter how people have written you off. Haijarishi watu wamekupuuzilia mbali jinsi gani. Has a project. Bwana ana mradi. And that project is to give you 
Maybe you never did it in the year 2013. But I declare under a prophetic anointing. The year 2014. Let it be the year that the Lord will give you rest from all your enemies and give you the land that you have been desiring to possess in the name of Jesus Christ. Who said that a tenant cannot become a landlord? Daniel is a common Pakisha in Yumba, where is it? Where is it written? In the Bible. The Bible tells me you shall build houses and dwell in them. I said the year 2014, the Lord. Who said an employee cannot become an employer? I declare you are time to be an employer is now because the Lord your God is giving you possession of the land in Jesus' mighty name. It says, Remember these things. Kumbuka Mabahale. Oh, Jacob. Ewe Yaakov. You are my servant. We are to be sure. Oh, Israel. Ewe Israel. I have made you. Nime kufan. You are my servant. We are to be sure. I will not forget you. Sita kusaha. I will not forget you. Sita kusaha. Remember these things. Kumbuka Mabahale. Remember these things. Kumbuka Haya. Oh, Israel. Ewe Yaakov. Remember these things. Kumbuka Mabahale. You are my my servant. We are to be sure. Oh, Israel. I have seen people asking God and other 
questions. Nimeona watu wakiuliza Mungu maswali yasiyo na jibu. And asking God. Kuuliza Mungu. If you are there. Kama Mungu uko. Why did you allow my mother to die? Kwa nini uliruhusu mama Why did you allow this to happen? Kwa nini uliruhusu haya? Why did you allow that spouse to to put me? Kwa nini ulifanya huyo mpenzi? Why did you allow me to go through the things I went through? Kwa nini uliruhusu nipitie mambo niliyopitia? And I have seen people offended by God himself. Na nimeona watu wakikasirishwa na Mungu. People can leave you alone. People can forget you. What you want to do is how, and they can write you off. Now I want to do is to leave. But when God Himself comes and says, "Lakin mungu mnye aja kona kusema," remember, kubuka, I am your God. Mimi ni mungu wako. Remember, kubuka, you are my servant. We will do this one. He is saying, and I say, I have a covenant with you. Ina na diri na we we. And I have covenanted with your forefathers. Ni mewe kama agam na babuza. And that covenant. Is working. That covenant cannot be broken. He is the God who remembers covenants. Tell somebody remember. Remember. I have been married to my wife for 23 years. 
three years. Ni wangu wa miaka 23. And one of the things moja hapo ya vitu that keeps us strong. Ambazo hutuweka sisi na nguvu. When things are difficult. Wakati mambo ni magumu is to remember. Nikumbuka. They are the days. Siku zile za mwanzo. Now 23 years. Miaka 23 is not a long time. Sio muda mrefu. But it is not a short time. Lakini pia sio muda mfupi. It carries with it some memories. Ubebebana na kukukumbu. Amen. Amen. There are times when things were so rough. Kuna wakati mambo yalikuwa mazito. At times we could not afford to do anything. Wakati mwingine hatungeweza kufanya chochote. I don't want to tell you. Sitaki nikwambie. I can't tell you many things. Siwezi kuambia mingi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. But I have ever shared with us here sometimes. Lakini nishawahi shiriki nanyi hapa wakati mwingine. Amen. Amen. We cannot forget. Siwezi sahau. We shall remember. We shall remember. You see the goodness of God. No, no, we are not bad. The devil cannot stop you again. You stop complaining. You rise up. With a new zeal. With a new energy. To see God is on your side. I say God is on your side. God is on your side. Blessed be the holy name of God. Give him a cup of rain in the house right now. It says this. Number three. Hebrews. Chapter 13 verse 16. Do not forget to do good. 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 Kumbuka. Remember. Kumbuka. To do good. Kutenda mema. Amen. Amen. When you make up your mind, unako fanya azimio kwa wazo. I will do good. Nikatenda mema. And I will live in the power of good. Na nitaishi katika nguvu ya mema. And when people do me bad, watu wakinitenda mabaya, I will not be evil with evil. And when God is priest, the hell cannot do anything against you. Nobody can harm you. Witches and wizards cannot destroy you. It is doing good. Here they pretend. I find some of the act of goodness you show. They look very small. Wakati mimi na vitendo vya mema unavyo vifanya huonekana vizuri. But when you do good, lakini una pretend a man. You feel so good. Una sikia vizuri. Because good, man, doing good fills you with the good. And it brings the good. And it fills with the good. And if there is good, you know. What a mema. Yana kujaza na mema. Yana kufanya usikie mema. God will give you opportunities that are 
Nimekupa lile neno. Maana ya neno vema, mema. You just said it. God, Mungu, will give you atakupa opportunity na fasi and fill you na kujaza with echo over over you know over ordinary extraordinary kitu cha ambacho si cha kawaida that is what gives us hiyo ndio bwana anatupatia when we live in the power of god tunapoishi katika nguvu good yeah, comes away i don't have for that right now mema sina final for today we show it kwa number 4 yani do not forget usisahau there's a second peter hii ni kitabu cha pili cha petero chapter 3 verse 8 yes uh, ah mrango wa 3 mstari wa 8 unasema second peter 3:8 waraka wa do not forget one thing usisahau kitu hiki dear friends open with the lord na mungu a day is like a thousand years siku moja ni kama siku a thousand years is like a day na miaka elfu ni kama the lord is not slow in keeping his promise bwana sio wa kurejea katika kudumisha some understand so kama vile watu wanavyoelewa kule patient with you yeye huwa anasubira na wewe not wanting anyone to perish hataki uangamie but everyone to come to repent lakini kila mtu aingie katika toba remember kumbuka do not forget usisahau one day siku moja to the lord kwa baba is like a thousand years ni kama miaka a thousand years na miaka elfu is like a day ni kama siku moja god is not slack in fulfilling his promises he has never read mungu achelewi katika kutimiza ahadi zake is not a neighbor he see kwamba hawezi in fact the word poor uses here neno paulo anatumia just as peter neno now he is a slowness god is not slow mungu yeye achelewi in keeping his promise katika kuweka ahadi and some of us understand slowness kama vile sisi tunavyoelewa kuchelewa but he is only patient yeah subira akona he has only patience ni subira tu akona when my children were growing up watoto wangu walipokuwa kikimbia and then you would buy some clothes wakati mwingine tunanunua mama and then you put the children on the, on the clothes of the children or the clothes of the children on the clothes ukiubalisha mtoto wa mavazi ama you realize at times the clothes are as bigger than the children au unagundua kwamba yale mavazi ni makubwa kuliko come on come on come on bwana sifiwe so what do you do nafanyaje you keep that trouser in the box unaweka ile ule ile rogi kwenye box because it is bigger kwa sababu ni kubwa and you wait for another one here unangojea mwaka mwingine mmoja the trouser belong to the child ile rogi ni la yule mtoto but it is in the box lakini liko kwenye maybe why hapo katikati he has some small some other trousers which are becoming smaller ana tu trousers zingine ambazo tunakuwa tufupi he is surviving with the small one ana ngana na survive na tule tudoka he doesn't know yeye hajui there is a new one in the box kuna moja mpya kwenye box there is i there waiting for him to eat but bro baki with him cut until he becomes of the tora inangojea tu afule ile bruba atajaje ni na mkate and if you tell him with you eat more he there is a new tora for you every day he wants to pressure whether he is glory na kila wakati atajaribu kujipima kama amekuwa mkubwa so that to get the new tora ili aweze kuingia kwa ile tora is there a promise from god you have not received je kuna ahadi kutoka kwa mungu ambao god has not fulfilled mungu haja god has not failed he has only given you an opportunity kukupa tu nafasi so that at the appointed time ili katika muda ujao he can give it to you anaweza he can give it to you kukupatia some of the promises ma baadhi ya what we have from god ambazo tunazotoka kwa mungu if we are given that we were given five years ago kama tulipewa miaka tano iliyopita we could be dead by today tungelikuwa tumekufa leo I prophesy to somebody today. Natabiria mtu leo. The year 2014. Remember, God will fulfill the promises we have been waiting for. In the name of the Lord. Katika jina la Yesu. Just put trust in him. Weka tumaini kwake. Finally, we show it. I have said Mesema. Things you need to remember. Mambo ambayo unahitaji. Number one. Kwanza, remember you are God. Kumbuka Mungu wako. Do not forget the Lord. Sasa hao Bwana Mungu wako. Number two. Pili, remember. Kumbuka. Six things. Mambo haya. Oh Jacob. Ewe Yakobo. You are my 
understand. Wewe ni mtumishi wangu. Number 3, ya tatu. Remember to do good. Kumbuka kutenda mema. Remember. Kumbuka. God will keep you your possession. Hata kupatia urithi wako. The question is when not the if. Swali ni walini sio likiwa. And remember. Na kumbuka. Remember. Kumbuka. God is not slow in fulfilling his promise. It is only that his timeline is not our timeline. A thousand days to him is a day. Siku mia elfu moja kwa kwa kisiku moja. And a day is like a thousand years. Na kisiku moja ni kama siku miaka. May this be the thousand year or the one day for God to see and fulfill your promises in the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive the promises of God that will usher you to your exploits this year. In Jesus mighty name. Katika jina la Yesu. Remember this thing. Remember the Lord you have come. For it is he that is going ahead of you. Don't go ahead. Without him. And when we do that in the year 2014. And when we remember. That we remember the Lord. When we remember. The promises of God. When we remember. The covenants of God. When we remember. To do good. It will give you an inner strength. It will give you motivation. It will give you inner drive. 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 It will you inner drive. It will give you inner drive. It will you 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 The Lord you will cause us to remember. To remember you. To remember that you are our God. To remember you have a covenant with us. To remember you have said when you give us possession and rest from our enemies. You want us to remember that you have a covenant with us. A covenant to give us divine ideas that will bring profit and oil. You want us to remember to do good. In fulfilling your promises, call us to remembrance of who you are to us. The victories you have done in the past, the favor you have shown us, the war you have won for us. Receive praise and thanksgiving. I bless you for every person watching this program. May faith arise in them. May they be catapulted to a higher level. Into a level of exploits. In Jesus' name, I bless them. Amen and amen. amen. Everyone, let's give Jesus a clap of praise together right now. For fewer, I believe you have been blessed by the word of God. And I believe the Lord has spoken to you. Now I want to make a prayer for you if you have not received Jesus as your personal Savior. If you are there and you are saying yes, I want to get saved. I would want to lead you in a prayer. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I realize I am a sinner. But today, I repent all my sins. Forgive me and write my name in Lamb's book of life. I receive you in Jesus' name. Amen. I believe Jesus has saved you. From today, look for a church where the word of God is preached and go there and serve God. If you have any other need, I, I want to pray with you so that the Lord can meet you at the point of your need. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my fear. I pray that you minister to him or her and that you are going to meet her at the point of our need. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching our program. Keep tuned.
Our number is running down there at the, your screen. You can contact us, contact the pastor. Do, we will minister to you accordingly. Thank you. Until next time, God bless you and keep you 